This portion of Local Lifestyles is sponsored by King's Great Buys Plus. Well, we are at King's Great Buys Plus, where you can get the appliances to cook up a storm in your home. The team here will help you find the appliances that work just for you. And Merritt Bates Thomas is here. Little uh, chicken soup for the soul today. Chicken soup for the soul, tis the season. Soup is good anytime, but it I is. think this time of year in particular, and as we head into cold season, flu season, Having some of this stashed away in your freezer isn't a bad idea. Great idea. So, and I love the fragrance here, the aroma. So what what makes this different? Because it's, it smells a little different than the chicken soup. I'm if it's one of my recipes and it's not a dessert, usually lots of garlic. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Lots of garlic. And then something a little different is some finely ground Italian seasoning. Okay. So dried Italian seasoning in it as well. So I like to cook a whole chicken and use that chicken stock. That oh, yes. really helps with the good flavors. Mm -hmm. uh, there isn't a lot of fat usually to skim off. And then I bone the chicken. And this recipe, I use eight cups of water when I cook the chicken, bone it, and then uh, we start putting the chicken back into it. So okay. Angie's got the is chicken this my, there. Is this my That's pan? your bowl. I'm going to put the That's chicken the one we're in. Assembling. Let me give you a little shot here on the camera. Try not to splash. And I do Oh, use... look, there's a little bit of chicken left in the dish. Oh, my. <laughs> Oh, it's good, Mara. Mm. Good, 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 good. It's always so tender. It usually falls off yeah. the bone. I use fresh garlic or garlic powder when I cook the chicken, and then I add more as I make the soup, too. I love it. So next thing, and I've got my water beginning to boil. Right. I like to melt the flavors together. In a small saute pan, I've cooked some diced onion, sliced carrot, and sliced celery. And again, more garlic. And more flavor, too. Okay. So we're going to let Let's you put, put that in there. darling. Look at that. Look at all that goodness. And oh, the fragrance. And you know, celery just brings every all the flavor it forward. It brings everything think? together. And the sweetness of the carrot and the sweetness of the onion, too. And then you can't just say enough good things about, about garlic. No, you can't. But it's, it's good for your health. It, it is. It really is. It is. So what I would do if I were making this to freeze, I would stop here. Not put your pasta in. Not put the pasta in. In fact, I usually cook the pasta separately so that it doesn't soak up that soup water. And then I drain it really well. It's already cooked, so it's going to absorb some water still. Right. But not a lot, a lot to make it too much of a mess. So we've got our base. You can freeze this if you want, depending on the size. Or now it's time to add the pasta. Now this is already cooked? Yeah. It's already okay. cooked, yes. All right. I'm and loving the, the way this looks. The amounts will be in the recipe when this airs uh, at the kitchen transition. Okay. Now. Is it time to sample? Oh, honey, it's time. I've been smelling this since I walked in. So dish it up for me, Merritt. And let me get some of the good broth oh, for you, Oh, please do. Please do. All right, honey. Kitchen transition. This is where you're going to find these recipes, Merritt Bates Thomas. Mm. That is so good. Good. Good and good for you. Thank you, Merritt. Thank you. We'll be back with more Lifestyles, and I'll be healthier right after this. This portion of Local Lifestyles is sponsored by King's Great Buys Plus.